Welcome back everyone. Uh, we are just about ready to plate everything for dinner tonight. Uh, enchiladas are just finishing in the oven. The Mexican rice is here on the stove top. So uh, let's get going. So here's what I'm gonna do to finish off the Mexican rice. Uh, on the cutting board, I have uh, some parsley, some tomatoes that I've uh, diced up. So with this parsley, I'm going to just finish it off here. Dice, or sorry, I should say julienne it. Uh, you know what, I'm going to just come in and finally mince the parsley, basically. So we're going to add a little freshness to the rice. Yeah, that'll work. So there's our little bit of parsley. Let's check out our rice. So here's what it is. We're going to take a fork and fluff it up and hope that we are cooked. It sure does look like we are. So there's our Mexican rice. At this point, I'm going to add the tomatoes right into the rice. I may want to salt it a little bit. Probably not going to add that. That was just one tomato, by the way. One Roma tomato. Um, so at this point, I'm going to stir it all in. Here's what it looks like good and fresh and delicious. I'm going to make sure the rice is fully cooked. If you're ever at the point that you feel like the rice is not fully cooked, you can always just add a touch of water back in to the pot, cover it, and if you have at least five minutes, you can just let it steam. Um, but for us, I'm going to try and get it done a little more quickly. It shouldn't take more than a minute. So that's that. Uh, well, that's happening. I'm also going to prepare part of our garnish. I'm gonna take an avocado. Um, I'll go just this side of a half. So I just cut it. I leave the peel on because that peel comes off so easily, almost too easily here. Set that off to the side. Let's do it again. So I have more than one garnish. We're gonna peel it right off. So at this point I can take the avocado. I'm going to go in at a little angle. I'm going to slice it like this, being very careful not to cut myself and then I can actually fan it out like this and then garnish on top. So I'm getting that ready to go. Do the same thing here. The more ripe your avocado is, the more chance you have of it breaking. So you wanna make sure you steady things in place. Because it wants to stick to the knife the softer it is. There's another one, and I'm going to fan it out. And there's our garnishes. So there's that. Uh, I can pull the enchiladas out of the oven. Let's see what they look like. Ooh. Here are the cheese ones. Here are the beef ones. So there they are. I'm going to plate up the beef ones so you can see, and we'll be ready to eat. I think our rice is probably done in just a minute here. Not even. ready for the rice and I usually have a flat spatula there I have it right here so we'll take our spatula I'm gonna bring this up here so everyone can see so I'm going to take some of our beef enchiladas that we've made uh, the way I do it and the way I like it I like the edges to be crispy and the middle to be soft 
If you like the whole thing soft, no problem. Just make sure you cover the whole thing with sauce, if that's the case, because they will crisp up in the oven. So here is our little neighbor of two enchiladas. I'm gonna make sure it's not sticking to the sides of the Pyrex. And then I'll come in from the side, scoop from underneath, Pull right apart and it looks amazing. Enchiladas down. I'm going to garnish it with a little avocado right there on top. And then I'm going to take some of our rice that we just finished. Plate here next to it. Simple as that. So we have our Mexican rice and our enchiladas. Uh, you're welcome to add sour cream at this point to it. Uh, if you want to make some beans, no problem. And I uh, highly recommend finishing with a salad. Hope you enjoy.